Stoner control. You missed it, didn't you? Okay, look at that again. Leg drag, just bring your knee in right here. I staple his other thigh down. I place my foot right here. He tries to move his hip and lift me. I wrap it around and sneak in stoner control. And then just sweep yourself. Roll over. Once he tries to come on top because he thinks he's better, I'm pulling that lock down up. As I do it, I grab right away. And what would you do if he straightened hard and you didn't get it? He rotates, you know, you feel that? You gotta rotate. I lock around the waist, I check the knee bar, squeeze, 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 and I finish. But what if he over rotates? He over rotates the knee. I've got pound and a half over here into the back. Hooks go in, rear naked choke. Fun, fun, fun. We'll just wing it and I'll talk you through it. We'll go slow. We'll just go doing that. Let's see. Um, just want to confirm what I was going to do. <clears throat> okay. All right. Are you ready? Yep. All right. Teach me gravity. What's up, guys? Brian Peterson. I've got Jesse Strader. If you guys don't know this guy, you're going to know him soon. MMA fighter extraordinaire. This guy busts people up for a living. All right, guys. Um, tonight, I'm gonna show you guys uh, some 10 Planet stuff. We're doing 10 Planet Week here at PG. We've been doing 10 Planet actually for um, like a week and a half, probably about that. A um, lot of lockdown stuff. No rubber guard stuff, guys, sorry. Um, not my forte, but we do do a lot of lockdown even before, but grappling instructionals, if you guys have not checked it out, um, Magnus Hansen has a video series on grapplinginstructionals.com and he has a lockdown video series. It's cool. It's got some new stuff on it and it's kind of inspired me to go back to working more on lockdown with my guys, showing them some of the new stuff that he has on there. And also, I have some stuff. It's real small. I'm not going to do anything crazy detailed, but check this out. I hope you guys are going to like it. This is my take on the vaporizer, on what I think because I'm not built like Eddie Bravo, so I don't roll so well. So if you guys have trouble with your flexibility and you don't like rolling a lot, I still like the vaporizer, but I'm gonna show you how I get into it, and I'm gonna talk briefly about my follow-up. I believe I might have done this on a video long ago, but it's probably not gonna be said quite like it is right now. All right, check this out. Lay on your back. Oh, you know what? Here, come on top. Right. So let me go into the lockdown. Okay, guys, you see the lockdown? So I'm gonna get my jaws of life going. I hit my whip up. I go towards electric chair, and then once you guys are here in electric chair, I wanna crunch my body forward, get a good bite, and then I'm gonna try to like arch up and then flex that ankle over there for that electric chair. But sometimes it doesn't work, the guy's too flexible. Or he starts pulling on your head. One, one or the other, or there's lots of reasons why you're gonna go to stoner control, but you're gonna get to stoner control. So basically what it is, is you can start it from here, like you can duck your head and move your head to this side, or you can also come up for your electric chair sweep, and then now out of this position, I keep my hand here, and then I just shoulder and I pass that leg, and now you're in what's called stoner control. Now, we did a video already, if you guys want to check it out, on an MMA version. You remember that one? Yep. You were here for that. Yep. Bam! You guys could drop the hammer on him, in the stolen control. But if you wanna submit the guy, it's a fancy submission. It's called the vaporizer. It's basically a calf lock, like a normal calf lock that you hit, but it's different because of the angles. I'm ha I have him in stoner control. His leg is across. So that leg back there, go ahead and come on back. That leg back there, that's the foot I wanna get. So one method, I'm gonna show you the two methods that Eddie Bravo usually shows. He shows the sit back method where you basically just sit back and you reach for the toes and you can pull them up right here. So if I was to pull right here, that would get a submission. And again, if keep in mind that like when you do this, it may not look exactly like it does right now. Sometimes like you start rolling around, but this is how you access the foot. You sit back 
and you work for this, these toes. So it's basically like a calf lock, like a normal one, but it's weird because that leg is drawn across. It's much harder to, to defend than the regular calf lock from the truck position, okay? It's the vaporizer. It's the one that you guys saw Eddie Bravo hit on Hoyler and Gracie. And amazingly, somehow Hoyler didn't tap. So it became a draw, but we all know that Eddie, Eddie did better. As I say, he, his stock went up. His stock went up like Tesla after that. So that's one way. You do the sit back. See, you sit back. In their match, actually, Eddie tried playing around with reaching. But what happens is the guy starts to straighten his leg and you can't, you can't reach it. So then you have the roll method. Okay, the roll method is I'm over here. You can move around, Jacob over here. So like just to see the upper body again. When you guys are here, I gotta create some separation, you know, sometimes. This is a little tricky. He might have underhooks on me. I might have underhooks on him. But I'm gonna create a little bit of separation. And then now when I make my move, I'm gonna take my arm and I'm gonna dive it through here and I'm gonna tuck my chin, okay? And hit my roll. And now you guys see, this is the one that Eddie was able to hit on Hoyler. As you're going for it, you catch the vaporizer right here and that one looks nice and clean, right? Now, in the fight, now keep in mind, Jesse is not as flexible as Hoyler Gracie. So he is not gonna put, position himself like Hoyler was. Hoyler's leg was nasty because they were pretty much like side by side. And then Hoyler was grabbing Eddie's foot over here. Can you reach up? And he was preventing Eddie Bravo from stomping on the inside of his own ankle. So if you can see right here, go ahead and let that go for a second. I'm not even that flexible, but I'm just gonna, see that? That's the stomp. That would have added a ton of pressure to rip up Hoyler's knee. But it can be done also like this with most people. Just not Hoyler Gracie, I guess. So that's a good one. You get the vaporizer. Now, can we go slow with a backward roll? Can we? Yeah. Okay, slow, slow. There we go. Clean. I'm right back in the same stoner control position. Now, I don't like to roll, guys. I know that might have looked okay right there, but I don't like to roll. And if you don't rotate enough, the roll doesn't end up clean. And then what ends up happening to you, it happens to me a lot, is when I attempt the roll, the guy knows you're going for the vaporizer, so he straightens his leg. And then when you get to here, you can't quite reach it. And then because his leg is straight, you can move around and get these angles so you can see. I can't get his foot. I wasn't able to keep his knee bent. So then he starts to transition naturally like this. And so it's unraveling now because his leg was straight. I keep a decent bind on it. And a lot of times my opponent will sit up on their hands. Like they'll post their hands to get up. Kind of like either that way or a lot of times they'll even post it over here and they'll try to come up like that. See that? Now he's okay if he can rotate his knee. But before that, I just go for the simple body lock around the waist. I squeeze and I get him in a knee lock or knee bar. I stretch, stretch out his legs, squeezing my thighs, and I get the tap right there. But remember, he's likely, if he's already gotten this far, by the time you go to here, he's a violent dude, and he just, we're gonna go slow, so we don't have to be violent right now, but he's gonna rotate his knee until, if you guys can see, get into here. See, his knee is gonna pop out. Just pop your knee through that hole. Boom, now he's safe. So once that's happened, continue to rotate a little more, it'll feel more comfortable. Now he's in a back step half guard. Now you're like, oh shit, I'm on the bottom. I gotta make a move now. So my normal fix it for this problem is before that knee turns, I take this hand over here when his hand is posted and he's trying to turn on top and I either catch a power, a power half or I catch a twister position. I gotta hook that arm, under or under. And then now watch the legs. Now that his leg is free and clear of the knee bar, go look at the legs. It's right here, I just switch my leg. As I do that, I go bottom leg out, and I push on top, and now I've got 
him in what I call the belly down twister, but it's really not a twister at all. It's actually a shoulder lock right here, okay? But just the same, you could go for the traditional twister as well. You can pull the guy up, bring that through, come under the head and finish the twister. Fancy, funky, fun stuff. Yeah. Having fun yet? I'm loving it. Now guys, I don't do that anymore. I do the finishes, but this is the stuff that I want to give you guys. If you guys, it's more simple, and if you want to get more vaporizers, in my opinion, this, this is easier. What I do, we're gonna get one time, electric chair, right? I whip up, I come under, let's say I take him up in the electric chair, I go for the starter position. When I come up, instead of doing the roll and the sit back, I just sweep myself. I roll myself to my back and I basically do a whip up. So watch this on my 10th planet friends. I take my arms. If he's under me, I got to get under him. So if he's under me, I will frame, break grips, pummel, and I'll get down like this and post my hands already ready for a whip up, sort of. Keep my lockdown tight. So go back and look at the lockdown. I make sure, like if you straighten your leg, see how your leg's straighten? I pinch up on that lockdown and I bend his leg as much as I can by posting my toe. My toe is posted, so when you try to like, like straighten out your leg, it's tough, right? Yeah. Now watch what I do. I just sweep myself slowly. As I sweep myself, I pull him up on top and my hands are double under. This is how I like the vaporizer. I then whip up and push him above my head. Come on around or here. As I push him above my head, I grab the foot. And I don't have to do a hard roll. And like, I just don't like rolling, guys. Anybody that's, you know, in their 40s or 50s and you don't like to roll because your neck is kind of tight, you don't have the flexibility, you can go straight to your vaporizer right there. Okay, and finish. Okay, just like that. Complicated is all hell, right? Yeah, <laughs> it's good stuff. I, it's good stuff. So more simple. Somebody asked me this on a on a on a comment. Lay on your back, guys. I'm, I'm trying to pass the guard. I go leg drag, right? I drive it down. Okay. Once I drive it down, you see the little staple right here on the leg. Okay. The guy tries to hit the scape anyway to try to turn back into me. I go around and I catch. Stoner control. You missed it, didn't you? Okay, look at that again. Leg drag, just bring your knee in, right here. I staple his other thigh down. I place my foot right here. He tries to move his hip and lift me. I wrap it around and sneak in stoner control. Once I'm here, very simple. All I do is make sure I'm under, get underneath, and then just sweep yourself. Roll over. Once he tries to come on top because he thinks he's better, I'm pulling that lock down up. As I do it, I grab right away. And then I go, if you gotta go all the way here, you can go all the way here. If you wanna stomp, you can stomp. Probably not needed. Then what would you do if he straightened hard and you didn't get it? He rotates, you know, you feel that? You gotta rotate. I lock around the waist, I check the knee bar, squeeze, 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 and I finish. But what if he over rotates? He over rotates the knee. I've got pound and a half over here into the back. Hooks go in, rear naked choke. Fun, fun, fun. You liking this yet, Jesse? I'm loving this stuff. I'm <laughs> so, loving it. I'm trying right. to soak it all up. Yeah. So this, I know, guys, this is the crazy stuff. But <laughs> either way, stuff. you guys are going to like it. I mean, the guys, that, the guys that know how to do this stuff already. Now, if you don't do this stuff in your jiu-jitsu, it's all just whatever, fancy. It's like a, seeing a guy do a crazy, you know, 720 and kick and break a board. But I get it. But for those that have the skills to do these types of, of techniques and you practice it enough, you love the lockdown and you like stone and control, hopefully maybe my method might add to your game and you'll like that method of getting into the vaporizer. I like it a lot more than the sit back and the forward roll. So, bam. Boom. We're done.
Hope you guys liked it. Please click the link down below at Patreon and PayPal. If you enjoyed this video, if it helped you in any way, you can contribute to this channel so that I continue to bring you guys more great stuff. Thank you so much, and I'll see you next time. Thank you, Jesse. That's good stuff, man. It works. Looked like we just jumped out of a spaceship. <laughs>